Hello, River Point. My name is Jim King. My wife, Tony, and I have been going to River Point for about three years. I asked Christ into my life when I was 12 years old. I served in the United States Marine Corps for three years, attained the rank of sergeant, and was twice wounded in Vietnam. I'm proud to share something with you today as we celebrate our nation's 238th birthday, reflecting on this great nation. While I reflect on this nation, a monologue came to my mind when I was a young boy, I saw. It's stuck with me ever since. Some of you may remember it. It's from the old Red Skelton show. It's a great reminder of the meaning of the Pledge of Allegiance. Over the time, reciting something can become monotonous. I thought this monologue would be a great reminder of what the Pledge of Allegiance means to each of us today. I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all of my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and my devotion. To the flag, our standard, O oh, glory, a symbol of glory. Wherever she waves, there's respect. Because your loyalty and your dignity shouts that, every, that freedom is everybody's job. Of the united, that means we've all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 50 great states, 50 communities with pride, dignity, and purpose. They're all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united in a common purpose, which is love of country. And to the republic, republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in the representatives. The representatives that are chosen by the people to govern. The government is the people. And it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands one nation. One nation, meaning so blessed by God, indivisible, incapable, of being divided with liberty. Liberty is freedom. The right of power to live one's own life without threats, fear, or some sort of retaliation. Justice. The principle or quality of dealing fairly with others. For all. For all. Which means... It's as much your country as it is mine. You know, since I was a young boy, two states have been added to the Union. And in 1954, two words were added to the Pledge of Allegiance. Under God. It's a shame that these two words have become so controversial in recent years. Today, let us stand and recite the 31 words of the Pledge of Allegiance. While we do, we remember that we not only have freedom in this country, but we also have freedom in Christ. If you would, stand with me, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America.